What up, Marcus? How you doing, man? What up, Ch what up, Chip? How you doing? Yeah, um, so I haven't did a TJ steak in about two or three weeks. Uh, what's up, dude? What's up, what's up? Um, I'm mainly doing this TJ steak because, uh, hi, Cindy. I didn't uh, do a TJ's take over Father's Day, so uh, this one's. What's up, Omar? How you doing, man? Uh, this one's titled "The Guy Show," or "The Show for the Guys." I uh, just want to kind of dedicate this one to all you fathers out there that, or stepfathers, or people that act like fathers, even women that act like fathers. Good for you. Um, uh, let's see here. First topic I want to start talking about. I mean, if you guys want me to talk about something, just, uh, just, um, say it and I'll, uh, I will, uh, what up Tasha? I would, I will just start talking about it, but, um, uh, let's see here. The first topic I'd like to talk about is, uh, I don't know, let's start with the UFC. Uh, I know guys like to watch UFC, and uh, there's been some good fights lately. Uh, probably the best fight of the year is coming up in a couple weeks. July 8th, I think, is the day, July 7th, something like that. It's uh, co main evented by uh, Max Holloway and uh, Brian Ortega. It's gonna be a good fight, guys. It's gonna be a good fight. Um, Brian Ortega is pretty, pretty good on the submissions. He's a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Yeah, I'll talk about Khabib. I'll talk about Khabib. That's cool. Um, and then the what up, Sammy? What up, girl? Uh, my cousin Samantha. How you doing? Um, and then the headliner is uh, Daniel Cormier against uh, Stipe Miocic. Now, you know, I mean, anyone who knows me knows that I like to bet on the UFC or pretty much any sporting event. Um, I'm calling DC on that one. Hello, Tracy. How you doing? I'm calling DC on that one. You know, it's uh, he's just too good. I mean, without without John Jones in the UFC. DC is probably one of the best of all time, in my opinion. Uh, I didn't call a winner of the Max Holloway Ortega fight. I would say Max is probably going to win that fight. Um, he's just good. Ortega's good at, at uh, submitting people, but uh, I don't know if he's got the got got the stones to pull that one off. So uh, I, I would say Holloway and. Uh, and uh, Cormier is going to take those main event fights. Um, Marcus, my buddy Marcus was on here. He wanted me to talk about Khabib. <laughs> and I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people want me to talk about Khabib and Conor McGregor. That, uh, thanks man. That is, uh, that's also going to be a good fight. Well, I mean, in some people's opinion, that are that are Conor McGregor fans and uh, like to jump on the Conor McGregor bandwagon. Hello, Brittany. Hello, Nikki. How you guys doing? Or how you ladies doing? Um, you know, he's not here to take part. He's here to take over, right? <laughs> That's what he says. Well. I don't know if he's even here to take over, you know? He hasn't fought in the UFC in almost two years. Um, hi, Brittany. Um, I don't know if it's almost two years. Probably going on two years. And uh, Khabib... Khabib's just been a workhorse the whole time, you know? He's just... Uh, he's an animal. I mean, that guy just does things 
to people that uh, that uh, I I don't know. He just he's kind of like Saint Pierre used to be. I mean, he just takes people down and rides them out and, and ground and pounds them, and it's pretty much over. And uh, I mean, anyone who's ever seen Connor fight, I mean, he's good on his feet. I'll give him that. He's really good on his feet, but uh, he's just not good on the ground at all. Miss you too, Brittany. Yes, and Marcus, yes, I did just toss it. But, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a great fighter. Don't get me wrong. Connor's one of the most entertaining fighters to watch of all time. But uh, I think he's going to get pounded by uh, by Mr. Khabib, Nabi Demetov. Uh, that fight's supposed to go down in like October or November, I think. Uh, should be it should be a good fight. Well, I hope it's a good fight for all you Connor lovers, but uh, in my opinion, it's probably not going to be a very good fight. Just not going to happen that way, you know. Carmen, how you doing, lady? Hope everything's good in your world. This is a uh, TJ Steak episode twenty-one. Uh, the guy show I'm just kind of talking about stuff that guys would want to talk about uh, dedicating it to all the good uh, dads out there that had a good Father's Day I had a pretty good Father's Day I don't know if y'all can see that but uh, my daughter and my mom bought me a wrestling a couple wrestling shirts that one's got uh, Stone Cold Macho Man Ric Flair it's just pretty cool Chrissy what's up and she got me another one too. It's uh, Macho Man and Andre the Giant. <laughs> yeah, that's that's cool. I'll catch a fight when that, when I come back. That's that's cool with me. Um, yeah, I mean, I I know everybody else has got their opinions. I'm surprised I'm not hearing any opinions when I when I uh, start talking about Conor McGregor. I think every male. And female has probably got an opinion in the world, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know if he can take old Khabib. Khabib's a different animal in the UFC, I think. Khabib could probably put up with George St. Pierre, and that's I don't know if those words ever come out of my mouth, but uh, I think he could. Um, yeah, um, Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? We can talk about money in the bank. Money in the bank. Uh, Pay-per-view from WWE, money in the bank. Uh, let's see, the takeaways from money in the bank. Um... I don't know. The women's Money in the Bank match was really good. I like how um, Alexa Bliss won the uh, Money in the Bank, and then later on that night she cashed it in on uh, the Ronda Rousey uh, Nia Jax match. Ronda Rousey was whipping some butt, people. I mean, I I think I said it to buddies probably a year ago. I think me and my buddy Alex Vance, my buddy Marcus, I was talking to some people, my buddy Evan. I was saying the best move for Ronda Rousey is to go to the WWE. I mean, everybody thinks she's a has-been in the UFC. I mean, come on, people. She only lost two fights. Two fights. So, uh, I don't know how you could call her a has-been. What up, Heather? How you doing? I hope everything's good in your world. I don't, I don't see how people could call her a has-been. You know, she lost two fights. What up, Christy? Two fights, and uh, she just called it a day and signed like a $100 million contract with WWE. Good for her, you know? And she's actually a good wrestler. I mean, uh, like a good, uh, I wouldn't say like good in-ring skills yet. She's she, she's pretty good, but uh, her, her intensity is really cool in the WWE. Like, she gets mad and punches people and puts people in arm bars and suplexes people or gives people the Samoan drop. Good for her. Um, anyway, she was fighting Nia Jax, which is The Rock's cousin. And uh, what up, Amanda? What up, Christy? Um, and she was about ready to beat her. 
she like she like gets this different intensity like Hulk Hogan used to Hulk up Ronda Rousey like throws like just gets this look on her face and she's like come on let's do this well you know she is bad what up Matt how you doing dude hope everything's good in your world uh, what up Nate Nathan how you doing man uh, she's just bad, you know, and she was about ready to beat this girl, lady named Nia Jax, which, I mean, in all tale of the tape, Nia Jax is 275, 285 pounds, and, uh, Ronda Rousey is, uh, what up, Jackie, how you doing, hope everything's good in your world, uh, and, uh, Ronda Rousey's 135, 140 pounds soaking wet, so, uh, just for her to get ready to beat that girl, which I know it's scripted, people. Get me, I, I do. I mean, wrestling's real. No, come on, I know it's scripted, but it's pretty cool to see her thrive in a different uh, sports entertainment category, you know? So, uh, she was about ready to win against Nia Jax, and uh, Alexa Bliss jumped off the top rope and hit her with the Money in the Bank briefcase, and then... Uh, threw her into the post, and then threw her out in the crowd, and then she uh, hit Nia Jax a few times with the Money in the Bank briefcase, and uh, she uh, she pinned her, and Alexa Bliss became the new woman's champion. First time ever in Money in the Bank history has someone cashed in their Money in the Bank briefcase an hour after they won it. Good for her. That's pretty cool to me. Um, uh, let's see here. Brandy, what's up, girl? How you doing? Hope everything's good in your world. Um, the Intercontinental match was pretty good with Elias and uh, Seth Rollins. That was a good match. Uh, Seth Rollins ended up winning. The Iowa boy. Got to support Seth Rollins. Um, what up, Tom? How you doing, man? Hope everything's good in your world. But, uh... Then, uh, let's see, I can't remember any, any, very many of the other matches. Bobby Lashley beat Sami Zayn in a singles match. Uh, the Money in the Bank ma man's ladder match of Braun Strowman pulled off that victory. He was pretty much dominant during the whole match. So, that's good, Tom. That's good to hear, buddy. Good to hear. I hope you had a great Father's Day. Every guy that logs in on here... Hope you had a great Father's Day because this is TJ Steak, episode 21, The Guy Show. So, just pretty much discussing a bunch of guy stuff. Um, yeah, so the Money in the Bank pay-per-view was pretty pretty good. It's one of my favorite pay-per-views of the year. Money in the Bank's pretty cool. Um, let's see. We got a Bellator fight coming up here soon in July. It's um, Fedor Emelianenko against uh, Chael, the Chael Sonnen. Mr. I, I speak in, in uh, third person. <laughs> but uh, that is the Grand Prix of the heavyweight tournament. And then you have uh, Ryan Bader facing, um, uh, let's see here. Ryan Bader is going to face Matt Mitrione. And then the winner of that fight will fight Khabib or Chael Sonnen for the heavyweight title in Bellator. That's coming up. Uh, Sherman, what's up, buddy? How you doing, Uncle Rick? Miss you, buddy. Miss you guys. Hope, you're, hope everything's good in your world. <laughs> WrestleMania. Yeah, I'll touch on WrestleMania a little bit. I already did a show on WrestleMania, but I'll touch on that a little bit. I mean, the steal of the way for me that night, I was just talking about Money in the Bank. Uh, AJ Styles faced Shinsuke Nakamura again. He beat Shinsuke Nakamura for the third time at WrestleMania. They fought for the first time. I mean, that, that rivalry there is getting a little old. AJ... Is a good wrestler, but I mean, they should have gave Shinsuke the title like last time they fought or something. So, um, yeah. But uh, WrestleMania was good as a whole. That's that's my favorite uh, favorite card or favorite pay per view of the whole year. I think it's everybody's. It's like the it's going almost probably second to the Super Bowl. But uh, 
Yeah, WrestleMania was good. Uh, Ronda Rousey and Angle, they dominated uh, Triple H and Stephanie. And uh, uh, Rollins won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. So, I mean, it's all good. Adam Glover, what's up, dude? Hope everything's good in your world. This is uh, TJ's Take, episode 21, The Guy Show. Just talking about different subject guys would like to talk about. Anywhere from UFC to WWE to uh, Bellator to uh, which brings on my next subject, probably football. I mean, what, what guys out there aren't aren't excited for NFL football to start? Starts uh, the end of August. Um, excuse me. There was a there was some pretty good draft picks picked up in the in the off season. And uh, Char Charles, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Hope everything's good in your world. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I'm excited for football to start. I mean, the Browns picked up Baker Mayfield, which uh, they're going to need a lot more help than Baker Mayfield. But uh, they should win a few games, if not five, this year. I would think they got uh, Baker. They got uh, Carlos Hyde. They got uh, Nick Chubb from Georgia. Go Bulldogs, Marcus. Uh, they got uh, Jarvis Landry from the Miami Dolphins. So, I mean, they got they got a, a Tanya. What's up, Amber Janelle? What's up, girl? How you guys? How you ladies doing? Hope everything's good in your world. Um, yeah, they got a lot of talent. So, I mean, the Browns. They're like the toilet bowl of the NFL, and there were some cool trades around the NFL, like um, uh, Chris Hendricks. What's up, man? How you doing? Hope everything's good in your world. Um, there were some good trades. Uh, let's see. Jordy Nelson went to the um, to the Raiders. That should be pretty good for them. Um, uh, Saquon Barkley got drafted to the Giants, and I think that's the real reason why Odell Beckham stayed at the Giants. So I, I don't know what they're going to do, but uh, yeah. The Colts drafted some off offensive line guys. I'm here in Indianapolis right now, so the Colts, uh, maybe they can protect Andrew Luck this year and actually do something with, with their team. Uh, I'm a Colts fan, so I hope that happens. Um, Tony, what's up, guy? Hope everything's good in your world. Hope work's going good for you. Um, so, uh, let's see. But yeah, I, uh, football, I'm excited for it to start. Deshaun Watson for the Houston Texans will be healthy again. They were fun to watch last year. They actually paved my way to a, to a fantasy football title. Um, what up, Amber? How you doing, girl? Hope everything's good in your world. Um, yeah, I mean it, and then and then and then you just say Tom Brady. You know, it's like uh, every season football starts. You're like, how are the Patriots gonna do? Hello, Faye. How you doing? Miss you, lady. Hope everything's good in your world. Hope Darwin had a good Father's Day. Everything like that. This is a uh, TJ's Take episode 21, the Man Show. I'm just basically talking about stuff that guys would like to talk about, and if anyone has any requests of something for me to talk about just uh let me know but i hope everything's good in your world Faye. i'll see you soon i'll be in iowa about the uh end of the first week of july so here in a few weeks and i'll definitely come out and see you so uh yeah um i don't know i mean football could be pretty interesting this year you know um I can never count out the Patriots. That's why I mentioned Tom Brady. You can never count them out. I mean, they, they can take guys that shouldn't be talented at all and make them talented. So I would say they'll be in the playoffs, I'm deep in the playoffs like every year. You know, I, I, I say if Tom Brady wins one more, I think he's done. I think he's going to stick a fork in himself. So, um, yeah. The Iowa Hawkeyes, let's see. I haven't heard much about the Hawkeyes. I'd like y'all to tell me something about the Hawkeyes. I know they got a pretty good recruit for quarterback, but uh, I don't know anything else. Um, 
Kristen, how you doing? I hope you feel better, darling. I hope everything's good in your world, and I hope you started to feel better. I hope your stomach issues have uh, subsided or, or left. I uh, hope everything's good, though. hope uh, Ryan's good and everything's good. So, um, yeah. Uh, like I said, this is just TJ's Take, episode 21, The Man Show, or just a show about men. We're just talking about stuff that men would like to talk about. And if any guys log on here, what up, Lacey? How you doing? If any guys would like to log on here and have me talk about something, then I will. But, uh, yeah, me and my daughter Milo, we're just enjoying our vacation here in Indianapolis. Uh, so, yeah, what up, Brian Gott? How you doing, man? Hope everything's good in your world. Hope you had a good Father's Day and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, the Man Show, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's copyright infringement, actually, because uh, there's a show called The Man Show, but uh, this is just a show about guys. TJ's Take, episode 21. I uh, just wanted to dedicate this to all the guys out there. Had a good Father's Day. I didn't really uh, log in here, like I was saying before. Uh, she, I would let you see her, but she's at the neighbor's playing, so uh, I'll have her call you later, okay? But uh, she's having a good time. I think we're going to go to the uh, some little fair tomorrow, like the Marion County Fair. Let her ride some rides and play some games. So she's having a good time. Um, but, yeah, um, I just wanted to dedicate this show to all the dads out there because if it wasn't for you, the world just wouldn't be the same. I mean, you know, I'm all, I know the mothers out there are the core of, of everything, but... Uh, us fathers, they need our help too, so good for you guys. But, uh, uh, yeah, um, football, yeah, like I said, I don't know much about the Hawkeyes this year. I just kind of go off what I read. Hopefully they can uh, do okay. I, I think the Hawkeyes are probably far away from making the uh, playoffs, the uh, college football playoffs, but uh, that's just honest. You know, I don't really want to say that, but that's just honesty. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. What else What else would men like to hear about? We talked about football. Talked about wrestling. Talked about UFC. Talked about Bellator. Well, thank you for that compliment. I'm, I'm glad to do what I do. I, all I can do is be me. That's it. So, uh. Oh, let's see. What else can we talk about? Uh, I don't know, man. And ladies, I don't know what to talk about now. Um, let's see. Is there any TV shows out there that men would just super dig that I've been watching? I watched The Ranch last night, you know, and I don't know if a bunch of guys dig that or not, but I watched that. It's a Netflix series, and... It's on its third season, and, you know, I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. You know, I heard they're taking Danny Masterson off the show, which is, which is, uh, uh, I don't know his name on the show. I actually just forgot. It's Colt Bennett, and I don't remember uh, Danny Masterson's name on the show. He's, he's the brother to Ashton Kutcher, but, uh, it's a pretty good show. I mean, I like it. I've watched like the first five episodes of season three. I know they're probably going to kill Danny Masterson off because of the whole allegations or whatever. But uh, he's a... What up, Nathan? How you doing, man? Hope you and your family are well. Hope you had a great Father's Day. And this is uh, TJ's Take, episode 21, The Man Show, or just a show for guys. Just talking about stuff that guys would like. Talked about anything from UFC to Bellator to wrestling to football to college football to now I'm talking about the ranch you know I don't know if you get, anybody watches the ranch but uh I like I said I think they're gonna kill off Danny Masterson or let him leave the show for a while to figure out what's going on but he's pretty funny he was hide on that 70s show he's uh Rooster Bennett on the ranch and so I mean it's all right it's got Sam Elliott Ashton Kutcher uh Alicia Cuthbert off uh, 
The Girl Next Door or whatever that movie was. Um, Sam Elliott, uh, the chick that was in um, uh, uh, Urban Cowboy with John Travolta, she's in it. Um, and then Kuchar and Danny Masterson. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty okay show. I mean, I watch a lot of shows. I watch all of them superhero shows. So I mean, if anyone would like to talk about those, we can talk about those. I watch uh, The Flash. I watch DC's Legends of Tomorrow. I watch Agents of Shield. I watch I watch uh, Supergirl. I watch um, Luke Cage. I watch a little bit of Jessica Jones. Uh, I watch all of them TV shows because I like the movies too. You know, before I left Oklahoma, I went and seen uh, Deadpool, the new one. That's a good movie, people. If you haven't seen the Deadpool 2, go see it or rent it or if it's out to rent yet. In one month, I watched Super Troopers 2 and Deadpool 2, and they were both good movies. Good movies. I heard the uh, Holo, or not Holo, but Solo. Han Solo, um, Star War, a Star Wars story. I heard that's pretty good. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I may watch it. Um, Nathan, you still on here, buddy? If Nathan Schuster's still on here, man, you need to uh, look up and see. There's an amphitheater. I think it's in Sioux, over by where you guys live, I think. Uh, I think it's like Sioux City or somewhere up by there, Sioux. I don't know, Council Bluffs, I think, maybe. But uh, I used to go there. I seen Blink-182 there and a couple other bands. And you should see if there's any good shows there. Maybe me and a buddy could come down and hang out and go to the show with you and Ashton and whoever else, your buddies or whatever. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, Adam McVeigh, what up, dude? Um Concerts. Let's let's talk about concerts since I see my boy Adam McVeigh log on here. Adam McVeigh, every summer that guy's got to make me jealous. You know, he's got to make me jealous. I come out here and I have some fun, and then all of a sudden I freaking, I freaking go, and Adam McVeigh goes to all these killer shows. Last year he went to Everclear, and uh, this year he went to Social Distortion last night with his friend Lorelai. My friend Lorelai, just giving her crap. Uh, social distortion, yeah, Mike Ness, baby. Mike Ness. Um, I get a little jealous of that, but uh, yeah, supposedly when I come back to Iowa, me and Adam are going to hit a show or two. Just like I said, Nathan, if you're still watching, me and uh, Adam might come over, come up to Council Bluffs and watch one of them shows with you. Or maybe invite you down to Des Moines and watch one of the uh, shows on the river with us. But, uh, uh, Mike Ness, good for you, Adam. I figured you'd go see that. I thought you were going to skip that, and then uh, all of a sudden you go to it. Good for you. But, uh, yeah, my buddy Kevin, Braden wants me to go see the Foo Fighters when I come to town. They're going to be at Wrigley Field July 29th, and uh, the Foo Fighters. What up, Amber, my psychotic sister? How you doing? Uh... Uh, Milo, my daughter's Milo, my daughter Milo's mom is on here, Lacey, and she went to see the Foo Fighters once when we were dating. Lucky her, but uh, she didn't go see. She didn't get to go see him at Wrigley Field. Now, I may go see him at Wrigley Field. Now that's like a, that's like a dream, a dream concert. I think Dave Grohl. Come on, that's the closest people are gonna get to, to uh, Nirvana ever. So, I mean, I might go see it. I know in October, me and my buddy Evan are gonna pl are planning to go out to Vegas for a couple of days and see Blink, Blink 182. They're having a residency out in Vegas. I'd like to go, and it's not too expensive. I think tickets and flight and rent a car if we split it. I think it's like 300, 350. So, I mean that's all good. But uh, yeah, music, music is the key to the soul. So, I mean. I don't go to a lot of shows in Oklahoma. Well, I can't. I, let me take that back. I go. I go to a lot of live shows, like 
just local talent like Scott Dammit, Scott Miles, and uh, my buddy Sammy Mitchell. I go watch those two all the time. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready to go to to a show though. I, I, every year I go back to Iowa, I go to at least one show with my buddy Adam, maybe my buddy Justin Gott, um, my buddy Lorelai Davis. We try to hit a show, and this year I think I'm gonna try to hit a show. So, a show or two. So, it'd be good. It'd be good. But um, yeah. Uh, music, movies, UFC, WWE, Bellator. Uh, I don't know what else we could talk about, guys. You guys want me to talk about anything else? You just let me know. Uh, 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 TNA Wrestling, I talk about that for a little bit, I guess. Uh, their champion right now is, uh, is uh, Zero Fear Pentagon Jr. from Lucha Underground. He's pretty cool. He wears like a Skeletor looking mask. Um, uh, he's the champ there. And uh, they got a guy named Brian Cage who's really big, really huge. He's pretty cool, pretty strong. The Ring of Honor World Champion is uh, Austin Aries, I think. And he's going to be going up against Jay Lethal here soon. So uh, that should be cool. Um, yeah. I think Holly Greenhall just logged on here. And if you did, Holly, I want to tell you hi. I hope everything's good in your world. Look at this, Holly. I shaved a little bit, bud. So, ha ha. Can't make fun of me now. Karita, what up, girl? How you doing? I hope everything's good in your world. Um, but yeah, I think I've touched base on mostly everything. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, me and my daughter are just out here in Indianapolis for about another week. And then we'll be heading to Iowa for a week. And then I'll be taking her back to her mom. So they can uh, go to Disneyland or Disney. Yeah, yeah, I think it's Disneyland. What up, Bill? How you doing, man? So, uh, yeah, I just try to try to let my kid have as much fun fun in the summertime as she can. Uh, be around as many different people as she can. So, you know, like I said, this is the guy show or the man show. So, yeah, I try to do everything I can to. How, how, give my daughter a good time and you know her and my mom were nice and went out and got me a couple t-shirts wrestling t-shirts for for father's day so that was pretty kick butt but uh yeah if i if i haven't said it enough i appreciate all you dads out there yeah yeah we're having fun bill thanks a lot buddy but uh hope you guys are having hope you guys uh had a good father's day and i hope uh Everything in your world is good, and I hope your kids, you are spending bon uh, fatherly time with your kids, or kid, or however it goes, or fur babies, or whatever, and, uh, but anyway, I think I'm out of here. This has been TJ's Take, episode 21, The Guy Show, everything about guys that guys would like to talk about, I'm, I hope I touch base for you, but, uh, again, this is TJ's Take, episode 21. All for the guys. And uh, it's been real and it's been fun. Um, I'll post this on Facebook and YouTube. If you're not a, uh, not a subscriber to my YouTube page, click the subscribe button and check me out on YouTube if you don't end up seeing me on uh, Facebook. But uh, again, TJ's Take, episode 21. All for the guys. I'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Love you.